Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about page and site metadata. So what is metadata? So you'll find some meta tag in head section of a page. So these tags are called metadata tags. These tags are important for SEO and some other functionalities. So if you use any other CMS or any application, there are always some functionality provided to add those tags. If you talk about AEM, we have page properties or using template or using code. So you can add those metadata either of the functionality provided as per your project design. But if I talk about Franklin, here we don't have either template or page properties. We have document based authoring and we don't have any way to add on the page. So in this tutorial, I'll talk about how do we add those metadata tags for a specific document means for a specific page. So there's two ways how you can do it. Either the two ways, one, you can add metadata using block. This is called page level metadata where you add a specific block on your page and you can add required metadata or you can add using Google Sheet or Excel Sheet that is called bulk metadata and those are applicable on your complete site, not entire site. We have some rules, we have some rows and I'll talk about that in this tutorial. So specific block, right? If you add that specific block, there's a specific service called HTML rendering service internally handle that and whatever you add it and that block in rows that those will be added in your head as a metadata tag. We'll see that. We'll see that as a demo. And there should be only one block, one specific block. You can add that anywhere on your page, but it is recommended to add that block at end of your document, not page. We are using document based authoring. So you can add it all either the uh, means starting, mid or end. Recommended place is recommended location is end of the document. Second is you can create a sheet called metadata. If you're using Google Docs, you can use sheet or you can use Excel in case of SharePoint. And that sheet should be at a root of your directory and the name should be metadata. Then you define each rows means each rows you define some rules how the metadata apply to site of either your entire site or the different section of your website. Here we use wildcard and these can be used as a prefix or suffix. We'll see that in demo. So how do we add that block? So it's simple. As I said, all the content is authored using tables in document. So we create a table. The name of that first row means that block should be metadata. That is a fix. And for the later, you have two columns. One row means you have any number of rows and two columns. First column will, would have key and the second column would have metadata value. So each line is translated. Let's say this first one, the each line is translated here. If you see this line, this line would be translated in one metadata tag where key would be title and value of that metadata data would be this, whatever provided in second column. We see that in demo. And you can add any number of metadata. So let's say you can add, let's say for you say text and value is text value. So that's, that will be translated to one metadata and that would be added. So there's no specific rule defined what kind of tags you can add. But important part is two. If you see the theme and template, whatever you would add here, those would be added as a metadata tag as well as the value of these tags would be added in body as a class. So the, using these tags, you can add a specific CSS class to body of your page. Now let's get into a demo quickly and I'll explain whatever I explain here. I'll show you as part of demo. So this is my folder where I have document. You see, I don't have any metadata sheet and along with this, in, let's say I have a home page, means the document, home document, I don't have any metadata block as well. So if I check head here, let me close this. And if I check the head section of it, 
you see their title title is this is heading i don't know what, where this is coming from so what you see here is heading it means title is always comes as soon as it find first text on your documents means first text on your page that will be added as a title if title is not added using metadata properties so that's how it work by default if you don't add anything just for your information and you see description some default thing is coming out and this image image whatever the image it find on page first image it will add as here if you don't add any either block or the sheet right so same way other properties means other metadata tag as well i was saying key actually is a name right first column is translated as a name and the second column is translated as a content not key value okay one interesting part here is if you see here this one template test hyphen temp and theme test hyphen theme i did not add anything but still those are coming so where these are coming from so for my testing before this tutorial i added a x sheet here google sheet and where i added those still i have removed those sheet but those are still coming so why what do you think about it so it may be a bug in franklin or what may be the reason so i have some analysis about it i'll talk about that at end okay now you see now let me add a block here at end of this document you can add it anywhere in entire document but i'll add at end as per the recommendation way recommended way so i have added a block name should be specific metadata and i added title description image template theme and color you can add any number of meta tags here okay now let me publish this first we'll see at the preview okay it's previewed now let me close this let me refresh so what you should see here now title should be changed and even if you see here you see here title has been changed and even in descript this head section you see the title see the title has been changed so title is whatever i gave here description is updated as per what did i gave here so this is used as og title og description along with this this twitter twitter title is also updated twitter description is also updated and image you see here now image is also updated what image i gave here right now it should be this image so if i open this image let me open this quickly save it and if i open see this updated image is coming that's my logo right so that's how those are updated and now what you see here themes right template template is updated because i added that in my block so this here see this template home page theme is equal to dark theme so those has been also updated earlier i showed you right some other values were coming earlier and the color is equal to black so as i explained these themes those are added two places in metadata as well as you would see those in this body so where is the body if you see this body and you see two additional classes here home page home hyphen page and dark hyphen theme and these are the same value what did i gave here obviously it will lower case and add hyphen in between if you don't if you have space this is a standard rule i'll talk about this in next tutorial where i will explain metadata section metadata or page meta uh, comp uh, blog metadata so if you see this thing and this thing is added as a theme means class as well in my body right now one disadvantage of this method is let's say you are 100 pages so on each page you have to add this block right in aem there is a inheritance if you add something on the top level page those are inherited those property means metadata inherited to lower pages but here that's not the case right so what you should do there's another way where you can update these metadata using excel sheet or google sheet so let me add that and explain how you can do it so if you see i created a google sheet at root means root of my folder and here first row is always what kind of metadata you have the first column have url means where you want to apply this metadata and the further 
columns in the first row what is the name of metadata right it's a theme template color author cms and further if you see here i added asterisk asterisk so that means this will apply on all the path I mean throughout the site because i have i'm keeping it at root so what happened theme should be now am theme am template color should be orange author and cms is equal to am so what do you see here here there are two properties which are actually conflicting theme and template so if you see here here theme and template and color so these three properties are conflicting if i talk about the home page and i added two additional properties means two additional metadata tags called author and cms now let's see what happens when i publish this let me publish this preview okay it has been previewed and once you see this metadata json you see it table so this is the user friendly way to just see it it will be provided by franklin okay it's nothing it's pure actually a json so if i see this page again now let me see that so what should happen now let me expand this head and you see still my theme is still the dark theme still i provided am theme right so it did not change and my this template did not change color did not change but if you see a author has been added right a additional meta tag added author and cms and what the value they have they are getting added from here so what happened when you have this is interview question when you have both block and sheet for a particular page in that case your block level metadata always take preference but if you have but both metadata merge together and obviously whatever written in block that will take preference but if there's some additional metadata in your sheet that also getting added for your page metadata and this is happening here so these three which are already there first three which are already there in my this block those did not update but additional metadata which is not there in my block but they are in sheet those being merged mean those being added here to my page metadata right and even if you see nothing has been changed here as well still the theme and template whatever is there in block this is important and you might get question interview question around this so this was for the home page where i had both means my sheet applying to entire site and i had metadata tag means block as well but what for others let's say go to cms and let me open this cms1 simply and let me see what's happening here preview and if i see let me close this meta head you see here right what is happening so now only sheet is getting applied here because sheet is added at the root and i had a rule say asterisk asterisk means that will apply to throw out complete website so whatever is there see their theme that is getting applied here so whatever metadata i have all metadata is getting applied for this page because this page doesn't has any block metadata block so see theme of uh, color uh, author and cms right so nothing if i add temp uh, title here as well that will uh, you know apply but i don't want to because each page can have different title so in that case what you can do the first means generally what happen the first tag means first text is picking as a title or you can add a block as well as per your need so that's the difference so what did you understand if you have both block level metadata take preference and if there is a different metadata in both block and sheet those get merged and getting added for your page right if you don't have block in that case your sheet metadata is getting applied to your page now let me add one more use case to it 
So I added a additional row and what I'm saying here in URL saying star star slash CMS slash star star. So what I'm saying here, if there's any folder which has in URL CMS and after that inside folder, whatever either folder or document you find, add this metadata to that folder and subfolder. So what should happen? And so let's say in CMS, inside CMS, I have this, I have one document and one another folder. So this I have already opened. So this was my document, which I was, you know, I showed example earlier. So let me refresh this now. Now what should happen? So instead of this metadata, this metadata, this metadata should apply to this and all the nested folders, nested folders or the document. So let me see that. Let me refresh this first and open head. Okay, now you see here theme is CMS theme, which I added here. CMS theme, CS template, color blue, author, Sunil, CMS Franklin. So this has been updated here. You see this all has been updated and even for the nested folders as well, this should be same. Let me open it quickly. Preview. taking time so you see still all the nested has same right metadata theme template and again in body there's the same whatever I added in that sheet now let me go back quickly so uh, we added a rule or row for CMS and in nested you know, means any document or folder inside it if I go back and see let's come to block first and if I open this block one which is not part of CMS and let me see this quickly you will understand a one more concept with it right now let me quickly show the head of it head and if I go still you see AEM template orange AEM geeks and AEM and where these are coming from from the first row so what did you understand here these rules these rules or whatever I wrote here are analyzed from top to bottom right first this will apply and further the bottom one is applied so from top to bottom first these these rules you know were applied and if you found here for a specific folder these were applied these metadata were applied so you see here you can add any number of rules so what did you understand here this can be interview question first priority is block if you have any block over page me over document if there additional metadata in block or in means in sheet those the additional metadata getting added in on your page right but preference will be given to block inside sheet that is analyzed from top to bottom so if you have in one row that will be overwritten if you have write a specific rule means specific row for a specific path there is a one more complex way, but I'll talk about that later because that's pretty complex. And today, I mean, this is not the right time to explain, but let me give you at a higher level what happened. So if you have a website, you have hundreds and thousands of pages. So e and each section is managed by different team. So in that case, it's always difficult to maintain one sheet, one Google sheet. So in that case, you can add multiple Google sheets for a different section. I'll talk about that in a separate tutorial. Now, one more thing before I close this. So you remember I talk about initially, let's say I remove this sheet. So what should happen, right? Let me remove this. Let me uh, come here and where is my metadata sheet here? Let me remove this, okay? Move to trash and let me remove from trash as well here, empty. Right, I have removed it. So what should happen now? Because I removed my site, metadata should not be there. And let me refresh this so that I have a delete option. Let me do it one more time. Yeah, it's a delete option. So now I'm removing this from Franklin as well. Removed it. Now because I removed it, 
I don't have any sheets, so I don't have any metadata source, so what should happen? Everything should be removed from my head, right? If I have page block, block level on page, that's a different thing. So on this, I did not have anything, right, in this page. Let me refresh this. Okay, and see, I still see this data. So that can be a bug, but just try at your end and see if you are still seeing the same thing, right? I have seen this many times. Even I have removed it, still this is happening. So one thing I possible reason could be what did I analyze? When you share some sheet, right, from Google Sheet, so that reference stay for some time. Reference still, even if you delete it, the reference still stay there, right? And this is not related to Franklin. This is what Google Docs works. So if you share that, even if you remove it, that stay for some time. Reference is stay for some time. So what did we do? We actually share this sheet, I means share these docs from our Google Drive to Franklin. Even if I remove it, there, there are chances like, reference of that sheet is still there for some time and because reference of that sheet is still there that still referring that data so that's the reason that is coming so that's possible like it will remove after some time or that may be a bug at franklin end i'm still not sure i'll keep analyzing it and i'll talk about it at some other time in some other tutorial I, again i took a lot of time so still if you have any question add your comment thank you